。观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看一周新闻回顾。首先为您播报国际及两岸新闻。中国国家主席习近平访美行程已大致抵定，除将到白宫与美国总统奥巴马举行奥席会外，另一个重点行程为出席二十八日召开的联合国大会，并发表大会演讲。此为习近平上任来首度在联大发言，意为自2009年胡锦涛已降，中国领导人再次站上联大发表演讲。南华早报披露，习近平访美行程规划，首站将到访聚集了微软、亚马逊等科技巨头总部的西雅图，之后前往华盛顿参加外事活动，并于此展开欧席会。随后转往纽约，参与二十八日召开的联合国大会。本届大会号称史上最多国家领导人齐聚的会议。习近平届时发言将备受关注。对于欧席会后将以何种形式发表成果，中国网的评论虽抛出第四份公报，不过内容却分析其出现的可能性极低。主要原因是，若有第四份公报，不可避免地处理台湾议题，为美方当前对处理台湾问题上仍维持“三公报一法”的基调。官员说，美国加州一对妇女档假扮为一名律师，安排希望取得美国合法居留权的中国大陆人和美国公民假结婚，日前遭到当局逮捕。加州中区联邦司法部检察署声明指出，六十五岁的杰森·肖假扮为一名律师，和四十三岁的女儿联手安排假结婚。二零零六年起，涉及七十多件移民申请案件，两人分别被控共谋签证欺诈罪，如遭定罪，最高可判处五年徒刑。两人涉及案件中，一名大陆女子同意支付五万美元给这对妇女档。她原本以为这是真正的结婚，但后来才知道，妇女档安排给她的美国公民是同志。根据警方资料，想透过假结婚移民美国的大陆民众，每个人付给肖姓妇女五万美元，希望能因此获得绿卡。另一方面，肖姓妇女则寻找以具美国公民身份的人士，包括许多无家可归的游民，签下同意书，与有意透过假结婚取得绿卡的大陆民众配对。接下来为您播报维加斯本地新闻。维加斯大都会警方称，周一早晨约七时三十八分，罗兹小区内发生枪案，枪案地点靠近罗兹小区高尔夫球俱乐部。警方透露，一个人在枪案中受伤，该受害人被送往大学医疗中心抢救，并无生命危险。警方在现场逮捕一人。警方认为这是一起家暴案件，被捕的嫌疑人四十四岁，现被关押在克拉克县拘留所，面临使用致命武器谋杀未遂的罪名指控。警方尚未透露受害人的性别、其与枪手的关系及凶手的作案动机。美国前橄榄球明星辛普森因犯下持枪抢劫及绑架案而锒铛入狱，不服判决的他以代理律师不尽职为由，向内州最高法院提起上诉。近日，内州最高法院驳回辛普森的上诉请求。内州最高法院称，辛普森上诉的理由并不成立，因此驳回其上诉请求，维持原判。今年六十八岁辛普森目前仍在北内州的一家监狱服刑。二零零七年九月十三日，辛普森纠集五名同伙闯入赌城宫殿驿站赌场，对两名体育用品商实施持枪抢劫及绑架，其中两名同伙之指证辛普森。称辛普森当时要求他们带上枪支。次年，辛普森被判九年至三十三年的有期徒刑。更多详细新闻，请关注本周新闻报。感谢您的收看，我们下期再见。Hello, this is the LVCNN Weekly News Channel with Catherine Ho. In this week's news, 600 homes in Northern California have gone up in flames since the blaze over the weekend. 
Another 9,000 homes are being threatened due to several wildfires spreading quickly over the valley. A 72-year-old woman with multiple sclerosis couldn't get out of her house and died in the valley fire. At 67,000 acres, 13,000 residents are looking for shelter as fire crews are gaining ground slowly. The National Weather Service hopes for light rain during the week to help firefighters contain the wildfire. In the latest edition of the ISIS online magazine, two men stand in yellow jumpsuits, staring toward the camera with a terrifying message posted below their portraits, for sale. The terrorist group says it is holding two more foreign nationals hostage. A page reads, Norwegian prisoner for sale, while another says Chinese prisoner for sale. The pages show images of the men from different angles and ask for an undisclosed ransom to pay for their release and transfer. The men appear to be wearing tags with their names and an identification number. The magazine also lists each man's occupation, place of birth, birth date, and home address. Beneath an Iraqi phone number at the bottom of each page notes, this is a limited time offer. ISIS has taken dozens of international hostages and often asks for ransoms. Some governments have reportedly paid for the ransom for the release and transfer of their hostage. In other cases where there is no ransom being paid, the Islamic militant group has publicized its barbaric killings of the hostages, apparently in an effort to score propaganda points with its extremist followers. A school bus in Houston fell from a highway overpass onto the street below after a car crashed into it, killing two students and severely injured three other people. The school bus fell on its side, front smashed in, underneath an overpass for I-610's South Loop in Southeast Houston. The bus was going east on I-610 when a car entered the lane of a nearby Buick. The Buick veered to the right, hitting the bus in the front. The bus driver reacted and the bus went through a guardrail. One 17-year-old high school junior was pronounced dead at the scene. The other, a 14-year-old freshman, was pronounced dead at the hospital. The Houston Independent School District tweeted that the accident is still under investigation. In local news, former Iron Chef champion, who served up dishes to rock bands such as Led Zeppelin and Motley Crue, died Friday morning at a hospice facility in Las Vegas. Carrie Simon, the celebrity chef who helped open restaurants around the world, including some of Vegas' premier dining destinations, was diagnosed with multiple system atrophy, a degenerative and neurological disorder, and died from complications related to the disease. Harwell, who met Simon in 2009, said he did not let his disorder keep him from doing what he wanted to do, which was to open restaurants. Known as the rock and roll chef, Simon appeared on Iron Chef America in 2005. Known for his style of American comfort food, Simon came to Vegas to open Prime Steakhouse at the Bellagio. He owned several big restaurants in Vegas, including Simon Kitchen and Bar at the Hard Rock, Simon at Palms, and KGB at Harrah's. The Las Vegas culinary community mourned Simon's passing. The Nevada State Athletic Commission on Monday handed UFC welterweight star Nick Diaz a five-year suspension for testing positive for marijuana following his fight against Anderson Silva in January. This ban is among the longest, handed down by a state commission to a mixed martial artist. Diaz also received a fine of 33% of his $500,000 fight purse, costing him $165,000. At the hearing, the validity of the test results were questioned. The commissioner stated that their decision to suspend Diaz wasn't as much about his use of marijuana, but his disregard for their rules and regulations after he was already suspended for the same drug in previous years under two different occasions. Blood tests found that a 25-year-old man 
was 2.5 times over the legal limit for alcohol after a crash at an intersection that left two people dead and four others injured after a fire tore through a minibus. The man was accused of speeding through a red light in a BMW and hitting the minibus, causing it to overturn and burst into flames. The BMW also caught fire and spun into another car. The accident occurred around 7 a.m. at the intersection of South Main Street and Charleston Boulevard. The man remained hospitalized and unable to appear in Las Vegas Justice Court, while five felony charges were filed against him for the crash. He faces two charges of driving under the influence, causing the death of a 34-year-old, and three charges of DUI, causing substantial bodily harm for injuries to other people in the bus. He could face up to 100 years in prison if convicted of all charges. Thanks for watching the LVCNN Weekly News Channel with Katherine Ho. See you next week.